Hi guys, it is Tuesday, January 3rd, and I am going to check my um, video, make sure it went up yesterday, but I got on my phone, that's why. So if anyone that does YouTube a lot, if you guys... Um, it takes forever for your video to download. This right here has been going 82%. So, Jordan woke up last night. It was about 12, 1220. And I don't know what's going on with her lately. She just has been waking up. It's been fighting naps, fighting sleep. And not necessarily fighting her sleep, but fighting... She just doesn't, like, she doesn't want to go down anymore, like, for her nap. But she's just so, she's only a year old, so I know she, I know she knows that she needs to nap. Because I'll go in there and I'll do my routine. And in her room, um, I always put her down in her room. And I think that's one mistake I did make because I can't, I can put her down here in the living room or in one of our kids' room. But if she hears any of us talking, she'll want to be up hanging out with us instead of napping. And so, anyway, so I think um, for nap time, I go in there and I put her down and she doesn't want to go down. Like, she doesn't even bat an eye. She just stares at me or she just stares at her little projector thing I have on the roof in her room. And it's just... I don't know what to do anymore. I hate fighting it because I don't... She go, usually goes down. She was very good about taking naps. About nap time when she was going down. She knew because of the routine we were doing. She's awake. <laughs> I heard her on the monitor talking. That's one good thing I said the other day too. That she's really good about staying on her bed. Um, we weren't going to buy a toddler bed. Because um, our kids all have new beds actually. So she's actually sleeping on a twin bed, and we do have bed, like, rails up, so don't freak out. Um, I know I'll get a lot of nasty comments, probably, you know, that your kid could fall off the bed or whatever. But she literally, we were, we had her in a pack and play, and we bought a memory foam mattress for her when she was younger. And she literally would, like, go from, like, corner to corner, from side to side, like, when I would wake her up in the morning... Because my baby's been sleeping since about two months. She's been sleeping through the night. But she went through like a major like eating change from like two ounces to six ounces. And so that's what she's done. And that's worked for her. So, but she's very good about staying on her bed. And I had to start frozen for her because our Wi-Fi is still sucking. It's still taking forever. 87%. So... She was talking, so I want to be really quiet. What are you doing? You want to come out? I just have the window open, the curtain, put the natural light in. So that's my favorite blankie, huh? Okay, we don't climb on that, remember? Come here. Come on, Mama. You want to come with me? You want to Say hi. Say good morning. She's doing it with her other hand. <laughs> hi. Mom was just folding laundry, so we'll see how that goes with her. Let's check her. What up? Yeah, yep. She's a talker. I'm going to check my thing real quick. 88%. It says an hour and four minutes. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, I'm just doing laundry on the couch, which I never do because I hate. And I will change her diaper. I brought a diaper with me. She actually, she doesn't like when I change her diaper, like, right when she wakes up. So I give her a couple seconds to wake up and get going. So we're just going to play Frozen till I can get my other Wi-Fi to work. She loves Frozen. Why isn't my sound on? That's so weird. Probably because I had the thing on and I wasn't playing anything. What is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mom's gonna, gonna finish doing the laundry and so I can do her breakfast. So I will probably see you guys this afternoon because I do have to do some housework. I have to get all the trash out of the house, sweep mop, do the dishes, clean my kitchen, and then. Hopefully, when she takes a nap, I can um, do the cabbage roll, so I will video that the way I do it and stuff. I just found a thing off of Pinterest, and I'm not even sure which one it is. Um, there was two when I was doing my grocery list. I got on to see what kind of tomato, uh, diced tomato I needed, because at my store, they do, like, the, it has, like, Italian or garlic or lime or whatever, and so I couldn't remember so I got on and I was like, hey, there's this one. This one looks really good. And then I got on um, another one and I was like, hey, this looks like really similar to the one I'm doing. So I kind of just added to it and stuff like that. And so it's kind of like my own, but it's not really because I've never made cabbage rolls before. I made it twice already and we love it. So that's what I'll be doing later. We'll see you later. Bye. We are just sitting here. I am about to... You know, I just got all of my stuff done I wanted today besides mop. I have to do that when she naps. She still crawls, so I don't want her to get all wet. Um, I cleaned up the living room, vacuumed. I, oh, sorry. She usually is never on the couch sitting, but for some reason today she wants to be. She's usually on the ground or just along the couch walking, but... Um, I cleaned the kitchen, got all the dishes done, put away her stuff, um, bottles and stuff like that. And I actually vacuumed the house today. We have dogs, we have two dogs, and they shed, and they're shedding a little bit, I don't know. It's really weird, they usually never shed during the winter because it's so cold. But they're shedding a little bit, so I actually vacuumed the whole house. And then I'll sweep a little bit before she... Um, when she takes a nap just to see if there's anything I missed and then I'll mop but my husband's gonna come home for lunch he's um we brought KFC home yesterday because my sister watched her while we went to the doctor <laughs> and she's like, being a nut so I have to put her on the ground I don't want her to fall um so yesterday my sister watched her so we brought KFC home so we have that, and so I think we're going to just have that left over. And she's wanting me to hold her, and I'm not going to hold her, hold her, hold her. See, do you see her pinching? That was her pinching face. She goes, and she gets really mad. I'm not sure why. I don't pinch her. I don't hit her. I smack her in the butt. I've just, like, given her a smack if she's, like, smack, like, because I know kids will go through all these phases, but one day she smacked me in the face, and it was really loud, and she knew she did wrong. She was like, and she's like, ow, ow. And I'm like, yes, that hurt. You don't do that. And I smacked her in the butt once. Not hard. Just enough for her to, like, realize if I do it again, I'm going to get spankings. And so she doesn't do it. Um, but she's moved on to pinching. And so, you know, I've talked to people. are like, well, just flick her, you know, flick her hand. Just not, like, to where it's going to hurt her. But enough to where she'll know if she's going to flick you or if she's going to hit, pinch you, you're going to get flicked. And then some people just say, just give her a smack on the hand, or, you know, I'm just saying, no, no, Jordan, that's not good, no, no. And she's getting the hang of it, but she still does it when she's mad. I don't know why. That's just really weird, but, yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm going to heat up some food. It's only 10.30, but we wake up pretty, well, she woke up at 8 this morning, I woke up at 7. And, um, I changed her and stuff, but... 
I still have to do her hair and then be careful. I don't know if you guys have any good um, sock brands because we have these wood floors and so um, it's really hard for me to find socks that will hold first. She hates wearing socks. She hates wearing pants, anything like that. She doesn't like to be hot. And so um, I have to buy the ankle socks because she just doesn't, it does, bleh, sorry. She doesn't mind them because they're not so high, but all the high socks she'll pull off. These ones she hasn't, but she gets so slippery on the ground. And so I think I need a good pair of socks that have like the sock, which I have on the bottom of, they fall off of her because they're so soft. So if you have any socks that you know they've used or are, are using currently that have the grip on the bottom of the sock, let me I know. I can't stand to have stuff on my counter like my crock pot and then that right there is just bugging me. I just want to throw everything away. <laughs> but we have stainless steel, which is not always the cleanest because we have a baby. Dog food, dog stuff, and Jordan's actually really good with the dog food. We have only we have only had to tell her twice. The first time we walked over here and she had the dog food bowl in her hand and she was like just shaking it around because I heard it and I was like, that's the dog food. And I checked her mouth and like her hand didn't have any of like the stuff on it because we use the Olroy. And even if you pick it up, it gives you like some sort of um, like some weird like powder stuff on your hands and she didn't have any on her hands. And then the second time she did crawl over there and I had to go over and tell her, no, that's dog food. You know, no, that's for the puppies. And then she's just never gone over there again. She does pass it. She like, like looks over at it and then looks back at me. But she does not go over there, so. She's probably going to go and play with some of her toys so Mama can. Um, we got that for Christmas. Someone gave it to her, but. Yeah. Dancing! She loves music. She's a dancer. But this is our pool table. We have a real full-size pool table. That's just from our daughter's room. She got new stuff for Christmas for her room. But it's like real wood, real felt. And so yeah, I just keep this like sheet over it. I got this sh fitted sheet for Jordan's bed. And I don't want to use the flat because I don't want her to like pull it over her head. So I'm just using it as a pool cover for a nap and I'm making my cabbage rolls. That way, if you guys have a cabbage roll uh, recipe that you guys like or have any tips for me, you guys can give me a tip. But yeah, so I will see you guys after lunch probably. Bye. Hi guys. So, I put Jordan down for a nap and... Same thing happened like yesterday. She did not want to go down, so I put her down and I said, okay, you gotta take a nap. And I kissed her and I walked down and came out and I just grabbed my monitor and I said, and she started crying, of course. And I said, Jordan, it's okay, lay down, lay down. And I didn't hear anything and then I heard her cry again. And I sing, um, you are my sunshine to her every night, every nap time. So I started singing it and then I just was, shh, shh, you know, shushing, shushing a little bit, and then I was like, it's okay, lay down, because I know she sits up in her bed, not stands up, because she doesn't stand in her bed, but she sits up a little bit, and, and then she finally didn't hear anything, and I went in there, and she was passed out, so I guess that's what I'm going to have to start doing, I hate doing that, because I don't like to hear her cry, but she needs to understand that she does need to take naps, and there's no bedtime at 10 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock, so... Yeah, so I started my um, things. I was watching a video and then I like totally spaced. I was supposed to record how I'm doing my um, cabbage rolls, which is okay because it would, would have been a little longer video. All I did was get my cabbage and I um, boiled it. And on my recipe that I was doing, it just said like put it in the boiling water and then take it out and take some of the leaves off and then put it back in. I actually just made sure I... I uh, boiled it and it was like covered fully for about three minutes until I s uh, started to see the first leaf kind of like pull back and then I took it out and I got these pretty green leaves so now I am going to do my um, mixture and it's ground beef I have a I wrote it down 
ground beef, onion, salt, pepper, and then whatever seasonings you like. Rice, two eggs, and then that's it. And I'm using the Uncle Ben's long rice, um, long grain and wild rice original recipe. This one worked best when I did it um, the yeah. first time. Yeah, two hours. And so I usually start at about 2 o'clock because my husband gets home at like 4.30. And then, but today... He's all muddy and stuff. He came home from lunch, and so he's gonna shower when he gets home. He gets home this time. Usually he doesn't shower till later in the day. But, um, so I'm gonna make them now. I'm just gonna stick them in the fridge. And then um, I will just start them probably about three, and we'll have them done about five. So I'll move this over here, and I'll show you how I roll them. So I just get I'm really weird about the leaves, I don't know why. So, I usually get this hard side down, the leaf out, and I'll put a little bit of this mixture on it. And I just eyeball it, I don't like measure it or anything. And I just roll it, and I always am tucking a little bit, and that's it. This is what they look like. This one has a little bit of a hole, but it's fine. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna finish um, this off, and then I'll just put them in the fridge, cover them, and put them in the fridge, and then um, I'll show you guys how I do the um, one I lost. I put her down about 12, 15 ish. So I want to get these done before she wakes up, just in case she doesn't take a full nap. Hello, I am back. I am going to do my sauce. It is 2.35. Um, I'm going to start the cabbage rolls at 3. But Jordan's still sleeping. I need to start to boil some water. Or boil some water. I need to start my oven because it takes forever. Um, 3.50. So I have an HE. a convection oven so it takes forever it takes like about 30 minutes to heat up so by the time I'm done doing the sauce and I get this um, I need to get the sauce done and it says um, on my thing I wrote down line pan with butter add tomato mix then place the rolls in and then top it with the sauce the, re the rest of the sauce and then um, cover pan and bake for two hours. So I'm gonna get the ingredients I need for the sauce and then I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna get a fork. I was being the loudest person getting this pan out that I'm gonna use. I'll show you guys. It's just a Pyrex pan, but um, I was being the loudest person because it's like in my bottom drawer and I had um some um what's it called baking racks and they were on top of it and I was trying to get it out trying to be quiet and I was not quiet at all so style Italian style regular tomato sauce um, so I'll use the tomato sauce the Italian um, style I bought stewed instead of the dice I don't know if that's the same thing or not it looks like it but um, I'll need brown sugar um, onion and I'm not a big onion fan I don't like onions at all but I know it puts taste to whatever and then just a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna put it in the um, pan and brown the onions real quick. And then I will um, put the rest of the stuff in, uh, the brown sugar. I'm gonna melt the butter a little bit. And then I'll put the um, onions in. And then we'll be good to go with the sauce. So Okay, so it says the two line your pan with butter 
I already did that and I'm doing the onion. I'm going to add the other stuff to it. Um, I added salt and pepper to it. I don't add a lot of pepper because um, Jordan does eat with us. I just don't want her to like, you know, might not like anything because of the flavor. So, um, but I always set it out for my kids and Doug. But yeah, so. the end result of prepping it. I'm just going to cover it and then I will put it in the oven for two hours. Um, I'm hoping that when Jordan wakes up I can clean up a little bit but yeah. So I'll probably see you guys a little later. I don't know how much I'll vlog later because my older sister is coming into town to pick my niece up. So yeah, so, but I will for sure take a picture of the end result and post it somewhere in this video, but thanks for watching. So I got a package today and I was going to record it, but, um, Jordan was just staring at it and I knew it was hers. So it just came in this big O thing. So question, um, what, sorry, I thought I heard her coming. Um, what sippy cups do you guys use? If you guys use any, we don't, I wouldn't really consider them sippy cups cause they're not like the shorter this, I don't know if it's just me or. Um, I would consider this a sippy cup with that kind of nipple on it. Um, we just use the one with the straws, the straw, and it, the newbie. I just barely wash and sanitize all of them, but that, I don't know if you can see it, but that's this is the one I use. Um, it's just the straw one. We got, I'll turn my thing around. I just cleaned all the dishes, so my house is clean, and the cabbage rolls are in the thing. But I just cleaned all these, and they're like good sized cups, and they come with like just different color nipples. And she has one right now that we tried out, and she loved it. Um, it's just a purple one with a pink thing. Um, yeah, she really, really liked them, and so I told my husband I'm going to buy more of them, because I'd rather have her be able to drink out of a straw like especially with traveling and stuff like that with sports and the other day we were at a restaurant at my mom's restaurant she owns a Mexican restaurant and um we were there and I she wanted she like she doesn't really signal a lot but she what she was going like this and sometimes when she pulls her fingers apart it's like she wants something like more of something and so I looked and I looked at my drink I'm like you want a drink and she signed yes and so I gave her some and she drank right out of the straw just fine and um, I just give her milk water and diluted apple juice I don't give her at like full juice because I know it ruins her teeth but yeah so if um, comment below what's your favorite sippy cup to use if you use any at all I know there's the ones like the inserts that go over the cups but I'd rather not do that because I'd rather not have to like take it off if she's drinking like juice or something at a restaurant. I wouldn't want to take it off and then stick it in her bag and it's still like all wet. And I don't know if I'd like that. But if you have a one that inserts to a cup, like you can put over a cup, let me know and I'll try it out. 
um, because she is getting older, but I do love these these cups because they're no spill, no like spill proof or anything like that. They won't spill in the car. If she throws it, nothing will happen to them. So that's one thing I really like. She is awake. She pooped her pants. You got stinky diaper. Let's go change you. So we're just gonna hang out right now, and I'm gonna go change her. And I wait to change her because sometimes she does go number two oh, yeah. right after nap. So, and she did. So we're just going to relax and we're going to play with some of her toys that she got for Christmas. And yeah, so that's it for today.